Hello everyone, I'm here today with a new video. This is a flip through of my London 2017 album. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the cover yet. If anything, I may just leave it as is, I don't know. But I'm just excited because if you watch my previous video about this, I decided that I just wanted it done. So my goal was to do it anywhere really from a couple of hours of one day through a weekend, but I just wanted it done. I wanted concentrated time to work on it. And it happened. I finished it in a day. I started at about 7.30 in the morning and I finished it at about 5.30. I did have a couple of layouts already done, but not many. So now you'll get to see the rest of them right now. So some of these have processed videos. You will have already seen them because I thought this was going to take me months and months. But once I decided to do the concentrated effort, really when I was able to focus, it came together quickly. And so it definitely was the right decision. So here's my opening page. These, I can't remember if they both have process videos, but I know they were done. Both of these were done. This has a flip here. And this has an old style where I have tucked in between here. Uh, this particular photo flipped styles from Simple Stories and it has an adhesive strip on it. So I have tucked that between the two photos actually in that pocket so you don't see it, but it's there. And you'll notice I have a mix of flip pocket styles as we go because as I was doing this, I've gotten some new dies from Ellie's Studio that allow me to do flip pockets in a different way. So I started using those. So here's one right here. So here it just goes over the edge when you fold it. The die has two parts and so you, it has a, um, a score mark so you can fold and so you can make it like this. So no adhesive is seen. You don't need to buy those photo flips. I don't know that I will totally give them up but I do like the idea of being able to do this option when I want to. So I do like that. And I don't think I actually had a flip when I did this originally. If I remember right, I decided to add in some stuff. So this one might look a little bit different than the original process video. And then I have our flight over here. We had a layover in Reykjavik, Iceland. So that's where this was. And then we're taking off again, heading to London. We've arrived now. And I think both of these have process videos. This one does for sure because I was struggling with, was I gonna be able to put in this bag or not? This one, maybe I don't, I'm not sure. But this was interesting to figure out a way to do this in a flip album. In a traditional ring album that's six by eight, it wouldn't have been a problem. I know how to do that. But this, because there are no rings, they're just little flaps, it was a challenge. So I figured out how to do it, I got that in there. And then I have some inserts here as well. So that's just, photo of the underground sign and some journaling. And then this one is actually a map of the underground, the tube system in London. I wanted to have that for reference for anybody who looks at it. So both of those, I put tabs on them and then anybody can take them out and look at them. On the back side here, I just put this die cut in the center just to liven it up a little bit, do something visually fun. That's all I did with that one. And it turns nicely in there. And this was going to King's Cross. That was our first major stop because we wanted to do all the Harry Potter stuff. And I think this is where I left off. I think these were my last ones. And then if I remember right, this is where I started new. And so everything from here forward got finished in one day. So that's inside King's Cross. And I, I love the purple. I actually got to use a little purple. It doesn't happen that often. And then coffee because jet lag was kicking in and we needed to stay awake for a while still. So I wanted to do that. And I actually had the coffee cozy thing that goes on the outside. I kept it. And so I decided, well, I can reuse that. So it went back in here. And then here starts a bunch of Harry Potter stuff. This is a very busy layout. I fit in a lot of stuff. So I have everything you see here. Plus I have another flip. And then on this one, I decided to, I have a stamp set that's made for this kind of thing. So I decided to use one that says lift up here to indicate in case someone didn't notice that they're supposed to lift up to see more. And so here's what is contained underneath. And 
And then I just added in some journaling and I included things that uh, were also from Ravenclaw because I'm a Gryffindor, but my daughter's a Ravenclaw. So I wanted to make sure she was represented too. And then here we are at the photo shoot for Platform 9 and 3 quarters. I had done it once before, and this was the first time she had been to London, so I said absolutely we'll do it again. Now this time, we got to wear our house scarves. They didn't have that when I was there before. So this time they actually have someone who stands there, flips it up for you when they take the photo so it looks real, and we got some awesome pictures. And then just a flip up again. See, this is the old style. Oh, you know what? No, I did have this one done. I had this one done prior to starting it again. That's right, because I have the old school flip in here. All right, but then this I know was new because I just had the ticket and this little tag from the shop floating in this page protector with nothing else. So that one was done in the big chunk of time. And then here we had a late lunch right in King's Cross, we decided, originally we thought we were going to leave and go do an activity that was a couple blocks away, but we were tired and we really wanted to be able to take our time doing the Harry Potter stuff, so we decided we weren't even going to leave King's Cross. We were just going to stay there until we left for Scotland. So you're seeing our lunch here, and then this one, this is part of the new knives I have as well, makes this little tab here, and then I created this where you can slide out some journaling on a partial card sort of with that little tab at the top. And here are some more pictures of the station. This is another one where I made the pocket with the new dies. I put the little pull up here and you can take it out. You can leave it in if you'd rather not take it out of there. Totally up to whoever's looking at it. I just like the option of having it though. I'm really in love with these dies. I'll probably be obsessed with them for a while. Then we had gone off to Scotland for several days. So now this is when we were coming back to London. So this is our ride back on the train. And <laughs> we mostly took the hop on hop off bus, but there were a few things we wanted to see and do where we had to either take the tube or just walk. And here we were walking and I knew the direction we were going, we were going to cross Trafalgar Square, which we did. And there just happened to be this huge Pikachu guy there. And you could pay two pounds to have your photo taken. And we're Pokemon people. So we decided we would do it. So we each got our photo taken with Pikachu. And then when we were going around again on the bus, the route goes really close to Big Ben and Houses of Parliament. And it was somewhat cloudy that day, but we were still able to get a really nice view of it. So I wanted to showcase those photos. I had seen it before, obviously, because I'd been there, but my daughter hadn't. So it was kind of kind of an exciting thing to see. And then we also needed to do some walking again to another stop we were going to do. And this time it had us walking through Chinatown. And I had never been through Chinatown on my previous visit to London. So I had no idea what it was like. And I'm so glad we did it. Even if you don't stop anywhere, just the colors and all the visual stimulation is worth it just to walk around. I wish now, of course, that we had eaten there. I think that would have been fun. But we didn't at the time. It wasn't really the right time of day. We weren't hungry. But I love that we got all these gorgeous photos here as we were walking through the area. And then it was on to Buckingham Palace. Again, I had been there, but she had not. And really, when you're at Buckingham Palace, there's not much to do there. You kind of stand outside, you look at it, you walk around the fountain, take some photos, that's it. Unless there's a special exhibit that they give access to uh, in part of the palace, you really don't do anything. So I said, well, let's at least go so you can see it. You can have your picture taken out front. So we did do that. So we have the Victoria Fountain and then we have Buckingham Palace. And then, oh, 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 this was the other Harry Potter related thing we wanted to do. The House of Mina Lima. If you're not familiar with them, they are the design house that does all of the graphic work for the Harry Potter movies and Fantastic Beasts. So anything that is paper, a book, a newspaper, they design that. So we really wanted to go into their store and just look around at their displays and buy some things, which we did. And I loved 
all the bright colors outside and I had this brick background paper check that out and it seemed to be just perfect for those photos and that was the last piece I had of that it happened to be six by eight because I had cut it down for other things so it worked out perfectly then here's some more photos from inside the store, different displays. This is where you can actually buy stuff, but then they had some displays in cases, some not, where you could get a little bit closer, but it was just fascinating to see all of that graphic design work. It's fantastic. And then over here, one of the rooms in there has the Marauder's map painted on the floor. Now I will say I've heard that they've since moved to a bigger location so I don't know that this would still be there if you're going to try to visit in the future. My hope is that they either removed it and took it with them or it was just painted and they repainted. I don't know but it was probably my favorite thing in there so I really hope that they kept that. And just some more displays. I loved this one of a howler how they designed that. <laughs> There's one sitting right there. So here you, you kind of get the flat version and then here you get the quote unquote real version that's a little more 3D. And I just loved looking at all that stuff. Like I just don't have a brain that can come up with that kind of stuff. So to see somebody else do it is fascinating to me. And then this was probably my second favorite setup. They actually had the scene where all the letters come in through the fireplace and then they had these on wires attached to the ceiling. And it was just so well done. I really enjoyed it. So I wanted to make sure I got pictures of that as well. And then they didn't have a whole lot for Fantastic Beasts at that time because the first movie had not been out that long. So I got what I could. It was a smaller section certainly than the Harry Potter stuff. But I did enjoy the movie and so I thought, okay, I want some of that stuff on there. So I sort of tried to gear it towards Newt. So I've got Hufflepuff colors here. I've got his suitcase with his scarf. So I think that that came out well. And then here we went to the Tower of London. We only went on the outside. When I was describing what was inside, my daughter was kind of uh, about it and I had already been there. I did happen to see the crown jewels when I was there, but I explained to her, you can't always guarantee they're going to be there. If they're not on display for some reason, it's a crapshoot. That's the chance you take. And she just didn't feel like it was worth it, really. So we just made our way around the outside, looked at the architecture, you know, looked up some history on our phones and stuff. And that was kind of it for that. And then here we are at the last page. And this is my transportation page. So I have our ticket from when we did the hop on hop off bus. But then we also use an Oyster card to get around other places as well as go to and from the airport. So I have that in here as well. And then it is removable. So I made, I used my new dies again and I made this little pocket so that you could then remove that if somebody wanted to really see what does it look like and feel like they can do that. And that's it. So I was able to finish the rest of this in one day and I would be willing to try it again, but it would have to be a smaller project like this because doing anything more than this, I don't think, I don't think I could make it in that time frame. but I'm glad that I tried this one and that I succeeded. So thanks for watching.